Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you 15 beauty hacks. Most of them I came up with myself, or like I've been just like using them for a while and thought I would share them with you guys. And like a few of them I found on YouTube and I thought that I would test them out for myself. This is Penny. Okay, well, um, let's get into the beauty hacks. Beauty hack number one. Curly hair is super difficult to maintain sometimes. Mine gets so tangly after just one day of washing it. A great hack that works for me is using a leave-in conditioner for a detangler. Beauty hack number two. Use your own conditioner to make a leave-in conditioner. I didn't get this on video because I did it a few days ago, but this um, was empty because I used it all. So I put in a squirt of my conditioner into this and put water in it and shook it up. And that's how I made my new uh, leave-in conditioner treatment. Beauty hack number three. Use a leave-in conditioner after the shower, focusing on the ends of your hair. If your hair is really curly like me, your ends probably get dry really fast. Speaking of the shower, if you don't have time to do your whole skincare routine, wash your face in the shower with an oil-free fa foaming face wash, and I always use a microfiber pad to exfoliate my face to remove dead skin and dirt and oil. Make sure you leave your pad out somewhere so it dries out. Beauty hack number five, put your face mask in the fridge. Your skin will love you for this one. The coolness will help with deep puffing and feel so nice and refreshing overall. Whenever I apply a sheet face mask, I always like to rub the serum into my skin for extra care and hydration. When I'm all done with the mask, I like to rinse it out and squeeze the water out so I'm not putting a soaking wet mask into the garbage, but that's up to you. Beauty hack number six. A great way to keep that beautiful skin hydrated is drinking lots and lots of water throughout the day. I like to add lemon, limes, or grapefruit to my water to make it taste like something so you don't mind drinking it all day long. Beauty hack number seven, when you're done with a lemon slice, use it as a teeth whitener. Don't do this too often, maybe once every few days, because the lemon juice can wear down your teeth enamel. Beauty hack number eight, if you don't have a loose setting powder, just use a compact powder by scraping some of it like this. It works the exact same way, if not better. Beauty hack number nine, for sweaty hot days, use a beauty blender to soak up the sweat. That way you won't ruin all your makeup. Beauty hack number 10, if you're going somewhere for a few days and you want to pack light, but you want to bring your must have products, this is the perfect hack for you. All you're gonna need is some hotel or sample bottles. Rinse them out and put your products into the mini bottles. You're all good to go and then you don't have to carry around the big bottle of product. Hack number 11. This is kind of a random hack, but if you don't have somewhere to hang your loofah, just use a clothing hanger. Beauty hack number 12. Wash your hair in the bathtub. Not laying in the bathtub, but hanging over the bathtub. I do this so conditioner and loose hairs don't get all over my body. Does this make me weird? <laughs> Whatever, it also saves water and I don't feel rushed to wash my conditioner out of my hair so I can just chill and let it deep condition. And then my normal shower routine isn't so long. Beauty hack number 13, wet your hair and braid it. Go to bed and then when you wake up, your hair will have perfect waves. Beauty hack number 14, to make the eyeliner glide more smoothly and to have more pigment, heat it up with a lighter. 
Make sure it's cooled down before applying it. This works so good. Beauty hack number 15. To get a flawless and even foundation application, get rid of the peach fuzz on your face. You can use a mini blade or razor, but I use Nair very carefully. You do not want to get this in or around your eyes, brows, or hair. Let it sit on your skin for a few minutes, then wipe away with a warm cloth. Your foundation will look amazing after this. I always do this when I have photo shoots. It really works. Sometimes it dries out my skin just a little bit, but I always moisturize very thoroughly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments if you try any of these hacks and how they work out for you and uh, let me know if like I missed any so maybe I could uh, try some out if there's any that you think would work well for me and yeah I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day so if you guys have like any requests on like videos to do just like let me know I have a few planned but running out of ideas i might do like a wig like showing all my wigs because i have like a decent amount and i think this one is like my new favorite what do you think if you're looking for like a cheap wig but still decent i would try rosy gal i got this one for like 25 I think or 27 something and like it's awesome I just need to get like one of those wig heads to put it on it so it doesn't get like really like tangled up and stuff because it's already so curly so yeah anyways enough rambling I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for my next video I love you all bye guys